Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Project plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about some recent updates to the project plugin, and specifically having to do with the estimating module. So I don't know if I've explained this in a previous video or not. It's been a little while. Um, last year, I think it was January 11th. Let's go back to the uh, change log here, actually. Um, we moved the Medic estimating module from the wall plugin to the Medic project extension or plugin. And the reason for that, of course, was the fact that um, basically I'm uh, slowly integrating all of the plugins and their geometry with the estimating module. So it's not just primarily for the wall plugin. So I just wanted to point that out to everybody uh, if they're wondering where the uh, that particular module went. Um, so anyways, um, it is now part of the main toolbar here and you'll see the little calculator icon. So this is the estimating module. And then um, just a couple days ago, I uh, finally got around, well, finally got over to back over to the uh, foundations and you'll notice here on the 13th of February this month, um, I added in uh, estimating for the slab on grade, slab, stem wall, and grade beam foundations. So there are still a few uh, foundation types that are, have not had the uh, estimator or estimating module enabled. And I think a couple, like one of those is of course with the column footing and the strip footing. So there's, there's a few items that still need to be addressed, um, and I will be getting to that. But specifically today, the thing I really wanted to uh, focus on was the custom rebar that uh, uh, feature that I've enabled now for the slab on grade foundations. So typically, you know, when you draw one of these foundations, and I've made the concrete here uh, transparent, you know, just played with the uh, material a little bit, and so you can see all the rebar that's inside of this uh, foundation. So all of this, uh, what you're seeing here, like on this uh, foundation, is drawn uh, automatically, of course, by the plugin. And um, and when you do do the uh, estimating modules, which we'll try right here, um, you'll notice that it uh, immediately picks up on that top rebar, bottom rebar, slab rebar. And if there is any interior rebar, it also picks up on that. Um, so that's... Uh, you know, that's pretty much a given. However, um, one thing that uh, was pointed out to me was that sometimes, um, you know, the user wants to add in their own rebar. And so I, I thought about this and what I've done is I've enabled a system whereby you can basically put your own rebar inside of the foundation, uh, your own custom or user rebar, and and not only will it retain the rebar, but it will also have the ability to estimate it or add up all the little parts and pieces and give you some numbers for that. Mm -hmm. So with this here, other foundation, uh, for for example, I've gone ahead and let's go ahead and uh, turn off the foundation concrete layer just so we can see the rebar a little better. Okay, so what I've done is, you know, a typical foundation, got the, you know, all the rebar top and bottom and the slab uh, reinforcement in there. But then um, what I've done is I've created some little, uh, I don't know what you want to call these. I don't even know if they're technically accurate. I'm not a foundation guy, by the way. Um, I mean, I, I know a little bit, but I don't, it's not one of my specialties. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, I just, I drew up manually, actually, these, these pieces of rebar. And then, you know, um, arrayed them a little bit. Got, uh, I think there's eight pieces going this way. There's four going this way. And then just for curiosity's sake, I you know drew up some uh, three-quarter inch rebar. And, and notice the coloring. Um, I, and the reason why I have this coloring is just so I could differentiate between the uh, the rebar from the uh, system rebar that's drawn by the plug-in. So th this coloring is of really of no uh, importance other than just to demonstrate that that's custom rebar. So you know you can do what you want with the coloring and the and even the layers. None of that really matters. So yeah, you can put the custom rebar on its own layer. You can put any material you like on it. I think on these ones, um, yeah, they're just on layer zero here in uh, SketchUp Make 2017. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is um, these are all groups, and, and they don't have to necessarily be groups. They can be components. Um, and they also are all within the foundation assembly. So they are dropped within the group. I actually mo modeled them first outside of the group. And then once I got everything kind of modeled, and then I just grabbed it all, 
uh, use the little uh, cut um, here and then just paste in place and then boom they're inside the uh, assembly the foundation assembly so the other thing that you will note is that each one of these is a solid so it needs to be a solid otherwise uh, I cannot calculate the volume and the length of the actual rebar so they need to be so, uh, valid solids and you'll notice that each one of these is and you notice these four actually all share the same definition uh, and that's even though they're groups they they were arrayed from the single piece so and, and that doesn't matter they can be um, sharing the same definition or not sharing the same definition that shouldn't matter at all the, the key thing is is they need to be solids um, the other thing you'll notice too is that I've named them and you'll notice here the instance name is custom underscore rebar underscore one now <clears throat> the one and actually the underscore one really actually that that doesn't matter what what matters is that you use custom underscore rebar that keyword phrase shows up in the instance name and then you know you can append or prepend anything you like to that and then the plugin will understand that that is a custom rebar and first of all it will retain it once you regen the uh, the slab and then the other thing is is the fact well the fact that it has the word custom uh, will cause the plugin to retain the geometry and will not erase it every time you regen and then the fact that it has rebar or custom rebar it knows to look at that solid and determine if it is a valid piece of rebar when it tries to do the uh, uh, estimating so notice these ones are called custom rebar underscore three and then I think these ones are all called custom rebar underscore two uh, again your naming convention is really of no importance to me or the plugin um, you know you can call it custom rebar or whatever you want or or just custom or you could just call it custom underscore rebar and just leave it at that so again it's just make sure that um, keyword custom underscore rebar shows up in the instance name so then it can recognize that that is a rebar okay so once then you've gone ahead and created this um, I've created a little algorithm that actually will look at each piece and um, try to find uh, the circular face because it's it's trying to find the diameter of that piece of rebar right and what I've done is I think I think I have it so it's set to six or maybe it's five so if the circular face is uh, you know a polygon which it can be in, in SketchUp of course and of course all these are technically polygons if you look at this it's I think this is a 24 or 12 sided I think this one's 24 sided uh, polygon but I think you can go as low as uh, five sided polygon and it will still identify that face as a circle and then uh, calculate the uh, applicable numbers so again it needs to be five or larger if it's four it will not recognize it because then it confuses the circular face with the other faces that are found typically within a piece of rebar like this so it needs to find the circular face from that it calculates the diameter and then it calculates the volume and then based on that it can calculate the length of the piece of rebar okay so let's go ahead and try this out so I've got these in here I'm just gonna uh, let's turn the this on just back on just so we know what we're dealing with here I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then click the estimating button notice the foundation assembly is selected then you could there's no particular order that you know you could go select all and then go ahead and calculate and you'll notice right away that you've got your regular concrete your rebar and your anchor bolts and then here um, below the, the last item that you're going to have is your custom rebar okay and what it does is even though you may have bars that are the same diameter it's grouping them based on both the bar diameter and the total length okay so basically what it's doing it's saying okay I found four of these rebar they're all half inch diameter and they're all the same length so I'm going to add them up instead of listing them separately so it'll tell you okay there's four of those bars half inch diameter 2.355 in length in feet and then of course same thing here these blue ones it found all eight and that's that's the methodology it's using I think that's simpler or better than uh, listing each one separately because this way it 
categorize as um, like, for instance, you know, with dowels, typically you're going to use all the same diameter of dowels and all the same length. And you're just going to want to know, okay, how many, how many of those dowels do I have within the assembly? So that's, that's what I'm attempting to do here. And uh, I'm almost certain that somebody will figure out some way, you know, to break this new, uh, <laughs> uh, this new uh, addition that I've added to the module. But, you know, we'll see. I, I, I've tested it fairly well, and I think, I think it's pretty robust. And hopefully, um, you know, it, it stands the test of time, but we, we will see. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, of course, if you go ahead and click your CVS or CSV report, sorry. Um, and then let's just save it to that one. I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. And uh, let's close this out. So if you jump into Excel, and I'm just going to open this up a little bit so we can actually read it. Let's see if that's right. Okay. So you can see it's basically dropping uh, the same information into your Excel file. Right. This is all your custom custom rebar that's being added by the user. So again, this is not anything the plugin is created, and this is all manually modeled, added into the assembly, and and basically the plugin is looking at that, analyzing those pieces, trying to figure out their diameter and their volume, and then of course their length, and then tallying them all up for you. Anyways, um, I think that's about it with this uh, this latest. Uh, addition that I've added in um, just you know noting that uh, I've only done this now for the slab on grade um, and I'll kind of test it test the waters with that first and then you know if, if we get make sure we got all the bugs worked out we'll probably add it you know to the stem wall and to and all of the other foundation types so we'll have custom rebar for all of them but uh, yeah just starting with the slab on grade first and kind of taking it from there so anyways if there's any questions or suggestions or perhaps you know better ways to do things than there seems like there always is. Um, I'm always open to you guys' feedback, and as always, I actually really appreciate it because it allows me to uh, make these plugins that much better. So thank you very much.